Uh, it's only day three. Um, it's been positive. I can say that uh, as a team, we're seeing they've gotten better, gotten sharper. The more time we spend in here with each other, get to know each other's games, get to know each other's tendencies. Um, I think defensively, um, we can be a lot better. Uh, but it comes with time. Um, for me personally, uh, it's been great. As long as my conditioning is holding up, I'm, I'm, it's still all just basketball. And so far, my conditioning has been good. For what little we've seen, it seems like you're shooting well. Do you feel like you've shot well? Yeah, um, I, I've been here for a while now. Um, even throughout the summer when I came up here to work with our assistant coaches, we got a great player development staff here. And, um, I'm no stranger to, to, to time in the gym, so uh, they worked with me a lot. And even prior to that, uh, I was preparing myself for whatever situation I was going to fall into. Um, so, you know, right now it's just confidence. Um, it's nothing different mechanically, um, with the exception of just getting my shot off quicker. But um, other than that, it's just confidence. You know, the more you make, the more you feel like you can make. So, um, and Nate is, you know, urging me to shoot the ball. And, you know how it is, someone telling you, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. You know, you, you don't want to make them tell you twice. Um, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. So, and, you know, with the way our offense works, we got a lot of playmakers, so you, you get a lot of open looks. And, you know, you got to make them in this league. Were you ever, ever able to watch your dad playing games? Yeah, I was. Um, I was able to watch him play quite a bit. I was able to watch my uncle play quite a bit. Um, the game has certainly changed since then. Yeah. Um, but, you know, growing up, it was fun watching those guys. I mean, they, they competed their butts off. Um, you know, I know my dad tells me all the time he wish he could be playing today. Um, me, personally, I'm glad he's not. Um, but, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun watching him. I learned a lot from him. What did it mean to you to have a father and uncle both who had played in the NBA? You know, what influence was uh, You know what? Uh, I, I said it earlier. I, I kind of took it for granted from the standpoint of I, I never really think about it. I never really talk about it. I never really discuss it with anyone. I just kind of, um, I, I, I don't say much about it. Um, I don't think about it much. You know, I talk hoops with my dad all the time. Um, but for me growing up, it was a blessing to see now and appreciate how good the game has been to my family. Um, and that's why I just try to give back everything I can because you know, it's, it's rare to have a third generation family member in it, to play at this in this league at this level. Um, so from, the game has been so good to me, my family, that I owe it to it to, to go out every day and give it my all. Did they push you or help you in basketball? You know, uh, my dad probably had the biggest influence on my basketball career than, than anyone um, between the two of them. Him too. Uh, he taught me the value of hard work. My dad was the last player pick in the draft, and um, he told me in the interview, they asked him how does he feel about uh, playing with Patrick Ewing, and he said, um, he said his words were, uh, Patrick Ewing needs to be excited about playing with me. <laughs> so that goes to show you a lot about my dad and his personality. Um, he, he, he was a confident, hard worker. Um, that's what I remember about him the most. And he instilled that in me um, once we got together, got in the gym, and. You know, I told him I wanted to play basketball, and he said, follow my lead, and, and that's what I did. Um, I wasn't drafted, so I've had to work for every year, every team, every contract, every opportunity I've gotten. It's all been, been about me just working my butt off and going against the odds, um, which has been fine with me. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I think you know, if it was easy, I probably wouldn't even be comfortable with it. Um, so. I'm happy to be here, happy to be a part of this, and I'm right in my comfort zone. Did he work a lot with you one-on-one, -on -one, you know, with earlier hours in the gym, that kind of thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exhausting. Long hours um, spent with my dad, um, just learning the game, um, learning the nuances of the game. Most importantly, learning how to be a professional off the floor. I think that's what carried more weight, and that's what he's more proud of than anything, that you know he hasn't seen my name in any trouble. I always kind of just got a good reputation with every coach I played for, every organization I've been in, whether it be in the NBA, the G League, overseas. I don't think anyone can say that I was a bad guy or a bad teammate. Um, and more than anything, that's what you want to end or walk away from when it's all said and done. 
the people to enjoy the fact that they were able to coach you and to play with you and to be around you. Yeah, where's he living now? Where's your dad living? He's in Atlanta, um, quite uh, pretty far from my house. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, he lives in Atlanta.